taxes. A new 2013 budget passed by the House last night will appropriate over $260,000 out of lawmakers' discretionary funds to the public school system. Prior to yesterday's amendments, the House Ways and Means Committee proposed to increase the legislature's discretionary funds by $16,000 per member on top of their current $78,000. But Representative Frank Delacruz says this is not the time to raise lawmakers' allowances considering the economic issues the Commonwealth is facing. It's flat out wrong. Delacruz says it's a matter of living within your means. If you have $78,000 and I've lived through it, uh, in the past years, um, I just don't see any reason why others cannot. During yesterday's House session, Representative Joseph De Leon Guerrero proposed to reduce each member's allocation by $6,000 and instead put it towards public awareness campaigns for legislative initiatives during the election. That motion passed, bringing members' discretionary funds down to 290000 total. Representative Ralph Demapon proposed to further dip into that amount to benefit the municipal council in the amount of $25,000. After all was said and done, I came out with the last uh, amendment. And I felt that we don't need this $280,000 for allowance. Let's give it to, to PSS. Dela Cruz recalls the crisis the public school system faced last March when power was shut off prompting school principals, teachers, and parents to storm the legislature requesting help to pay the utility bill. We don't want to go through that again. In the end, the budget passed, allocating an additional $265,000 to PSS. An additional amendment was passed to allocate $3.2 million to Medicaid and the Medical Referral Program from the Apportioned Tobacco Settlement Agreement Fund.